I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports Now on this Monday, July the 13th. Rob Ress Snyder made his major league debut on Saturday for the Yankees, and the second baseman did not disappoint over the weekend at Fenway Park. The Yankees go up to Boston. They win two out of three. They feel good about themselves going into the All-Star break in first place, and Ref Snyder made a mark on Sunday. First major league hit, a single to center field, and then later in the game as the Yankees broke it open and finished off the Red Sox for the weekend, there was Ref Snyder going up and over the Green Monster in Fenway Park, and you could see the ability, you could see the talent of the talented and very, very interesting and intriguing prospect the Yankees have now at second base in Rob Ref Snyder. And this weekend, Brian Cash impressed a lot by the media as to if, whether or not this is a permanent Call up for Ref Snyder, the 24 year old prospect out of Korea. And look, he didn't say yes or no. He didn't say this is definitely for the rest of the year. He said, Look, we try to win games every day. The Red Sox starting a couple lefties. We felt the right hand hitting Ref Snyder could come up and help the team. But you have to believe it's more than that. You have to believe they're looking at him and wanting to know if he can hit big league pitching and he could help this team right now. And after two games, it's a very, very short sample size. But compare it to what the Yankees were getting at second base. From the beginning of the season out of Steven Drew. And I think Rob Refsnyder deserves a chance in the second half to earn the job and earn regular playing time with the Yankees. A converted outfielder. He's still trying to feel his way defensively. You could see that rocket for an arm that he had out in right field. So he has a big arm at second base, which you don't need to play second base. But it's certainly nice to have. Robinson Cano had it for the Yankees for a very long time. He has a very good arm. I thought he turned the double play well enough. It's not like he's you know a gold glove second baseman out there. But I think he can improve and become an adequate to above average second baseman. But the bat and his approach to the plate is why he's going to be a big leaguer and why he looks to be the future Yankee second baseman, whether it is today, tomorrow, or next year. Ref Snyder has a future. You can see it in his swing, his approach to the plate. David Cohn in the Yes Network on Sunday raving about his ability to work an at-bat, to work a plate appearance. You saw that with his minor league numbers, 44 walks, 44 Strikeouts, you know, even. And that's really, really good for a young player to master the strike zone that much. You look at his numbers now over his minor league career. This guy is ready. I mean, he had over 1,600 plate appearances in the minor leagues, almost 1,700, and 826 total OPS as he worked his way up through the different levels. This year, a 387 off base percentage, an OPS over 800. You could see the talent there, the track record is there. And you look at what the Yankees are getting. It's not like they've gotten a gigantic season out of Steven Drew, or he's on a long-term deal. He's on a one-year deal, and despite the 12 home runs that Drew has hit, and some of them have been big ones, the Yankees still, as a team, compared to the rest of the league, rank 24th in OPS out of their second baseman. So despite the 12 home runs, the Yankees have gotten below average production at a second base. Can Ref Snyder help that? Can he improve that? I think he can, and I think it's worth a look when the second half opens up against Seattle on Friday. I'm Joe Giglio for NJ Sports. Now.